We are back. This is the second part of our mini conversation series with Matt Craig from Persuasion Experience. So if you didn't watch the last video, definitely watch it because it was an amazing one on three biggest issues usually seen on landing pages and how to improve them for paid advertising. Now I'm asking one that's a big issue that I see with a lot of clients, not just about the landing page and the website, but is the biggest post conversion or post lead mistakes and how to fix them. So for example, a business is paid to get traffic, they get the lead, but then what? And there's a big gap there because that's when like that salesmanship or just like what actually happens post it where all the money is made, that's where it starts. So Matt and I see this big issue all the time and most people overlook it, especially business owners. Like they just assume that they've got leads in and because they've paid for it, they should sell, but that's not the case. So Matt, there's no question I'm going to ask there. I'm just going to leave it to you now. Like what are your thoughts or experiences on what are the biggest mistakes you see with this and how do you tend to like when you consult clients on how to fix it? Yeah, the biggest mistake is just not really having a process. Like the job isn't done when you get the lead, right? The job starts when you get the lead, essentially. I know, obviously, you obviously put a lot of work into the advertising and we put a lot of work into the conversion, but really nothing really happens until that sale gets made. So you really need to have a strong process. So let's unpack what a good process looks right now. Um, I'm going to go with the lead gen space, not necessarily like the e-commerce space, but a lot of it can still apply. So from like a lead gen space is the first thing is someone puts in their details to say, hey, I'm interested in whatever you're offering, what needs to happen? Well, first thing that you need to do is make sure that your lead submission um, gets sent to a thank you page, right? You need to actually um, send them to a place that says, yep, hey, we've got your information and everything's starting to work in the background. And with a thank you page, never thank them. You wanna congratulate them, so congrats them on the next step that they've take, uh, taken. And then you wanna tell them of the process. So, hey, here's what's happening next. And just be quite granular in terms of what's exactly happening next. So, hey, in the next 24 hours, um, one of our people from the customer success team are going to get in touch with you. You. Two, we'll give you a call on your mobile number that you've provided. And then three, we'll go over your potential game plan, growth plan, whatever, whatever we're selling in the offer and giving them a three-step process so they feel comfortable, they know exactly what's going on. And if you've got, say, like a time booked in or something along those lines, make sure you provide the time or give them a calendar link to book into their calendar. And that simple little um, you know, thank you page, congratulations page puts them at ease. It'll actually stop them searching competitors and also doing the same process with three other competitors. And then lastly, at the bottom of that page, just add some social proof to it. So they're like, oh my God, yeah, these guys get the results. And we talked about in a previous video, um, you might not potentially look at video testimonials, Michael. Um, so for people like you, there's this advanced strategy that we use at Persuasion Experience called forced consumption. Now, forced consumption is essentially when you get a video testimonial, you just extract the best quote and just put it above the video. And that can just make sure that all the video testimonials are being used in their uh, maximum potential so you can get more ROI from your marketing. Yeah, so the second step is delay is the death of the sale, right? So we've mystery shopped our own clients before. And sometimes, you know, they take, you know, it's like maybe 48 hours, 72 hours to reach out. So if you've waited 72 hours and someone said, hey, yeah, I'm ready to find out more information, each minute you wait, you know, they're potentially looking at other options and delay, yeah, death is really delay this, sorry, delay is death of the sale. So you really want to fix that issue and that process issue of just getting your sales team really invested, really buying in and making sure that you can get that deal done because um, yeah, people with their TikTok attention, <laughs> attention spans, right? Um, what's going to happen is they're just going to shop around, right? You're going to lose the deal. And, you know, you've just invested money in the Google ads. You know, you can't be having a slow sales process or no sales process at all and just sort of like, oh, yeah, I'll call them when I call them. And if you do have a sales team, you definitely need to set the standard because, yeah, we, we sometimes see sloppy standards when it comes to the sales process. So sales process is essentially have a good script, make sure that you're fast and be helpful, right? Those are the three things that you want to be focusing on there. Especially with Google Ads, I know that it's it, in the moment intent-based search. So when people are searching, they've proactively put themselves in an action-taking buying mode. So if you can meet them as close in that time, obviously with ads and then a landing page and then a conversion. But once you, if you can close that gap of time between that, the probability of success goes up like 
astronomically. It's pretty clear because they're actually already in the buying intent mode. It's very different from Facebook, for example, where it's a disruptive media or YouTube where it's disrupting. Like someone's literally typing something into Google. They are proactively looking. So what you're saying here is extremely practical and extremely insightful. Uh, in terms of like a, a big thing that I speak to a lot of clients about is making sure that they've got maybe like a mini follow-up email sequence uh, just post the conversion like you're saying all this just to ensure that if people don't pick up the phone call or don't do that that they already are in this like system of just being reminded because you know people don't buy off the first click or people don't buy off the first call but they do need to be gently reminded like what are some simple strategies just there on what you'd recommend someone to do yeah so we just talked about the the thank you page and the congratulations page essentially just summarizing that into an email um, that goes out to the email that they have provided saying hey this is what's happening next and um yeah, these are the steps. And then also just like a link, hey, if you're interested in any of our case studies, here's more information, right? And you can never underestimate how fascinated a new prospect is with your business. You might be like, oh, we've already got that on the landing page. We don't need to send it. Trust me, you need to send it. If you wanna increase your sales conversion process, send that out in an email with all the case studies. So that's sort of that initial follow-up process. Obviously, like if you've got Calendly bookings and things like that, you've got that automatic follow-up process within there. Uh, if you can customize them, again, just putting links back to your case studies page. But what we also see with a lot of businesses is wastage in the sales process. Not everyone will go ahead. So what do you have? Do you have a plan for the next three months, the next six months to reactivate them, to re-engage them? Um, one policy that I love the, uh, the name of here at Persuasion Experience is no lead left behind. So when a lead comes to you, they don't go ahead. They the sales process, whatever, not a good fit right now. Six months later, put them into a follow-up sequence that says, hey, you know, Mike, here from market lead i just wanted to follow up we just spoke six months ago i just wanted to make sure you're getting the google ads results that you expect um, if you're interested or you need more help please let me know question mark cheers michael and that little process can just get a whole flood of people coming through because um especially with what you're you're selling it's a constant need and yeah having a no lead left behind policy depending on like the buying cycle you know if you're a 12 like let's just say um like car insurance or something like that you know you might add it you might have a 12 month or a nine month sequence or something like that so yeah that would be really the process right like you just need to make sure that you've got all these touch points mapped out and that's why we call it our brand persuasion experience right your px having a look at your full user journey and designing a funnel to really provide as much value to your end customer so they feel valued and they feel supported through that entire process because when they feel that they're naturally going to be with you for a long long time that's amazing matt well thank you so much for that i appreciate it mate and even just saying that i just had so many ideas flood through so as i'm watching this video again i'm going to make sure that i implement a few of those i'm not going to say it on this video because the people who are probably watching this video are going to do the same thing as me so i'll leave it there but thanks for this segment matt i appreciate it mate and we'll uh, jump into the next one i hope you enjoyed that video if you want more videos just like the one you just watched click here and if you're new to the channel click here make sure you subscribe so you never miss an important video from myself Oh,